Hi guys, I am Deanna and we are the Crystals. Last year we spent Christmas in our 400 square foot RV. Needless to say, a lot has changed for us in 2020. It's ours! We are grateful and blessed for our new house and the new traditions that we're going to experience as a family. Excited to have you join us this holiday season. Over Thanksgiving break, we traveled, we came back, we decorated from Christmas, we were in and out of the house going to see our family. So the house, quite frankly, became a complete and utter mess. So today, I'm gonna clean it, give you guys some holiday cleaning motivation. when we lived in our old house. I hated cleaning, I hated doing the dishes. I resisted it, I fought it, I did not want to do it. I made up every excuse in the book as to that's not who I am, that's not how I was raised. I wasn't, my grandma always cleaned up after us. So I had life pretty easy growing up when it comes to cleaning. When we decided to move in the RV, I had this illusion that things were gonna be easier that things would just like I don't know clean themselves like people online were like oh it's so much easier to clean an RV well I mean I still have to clean it doesn't matter if it was easy or it was hard I just didn't want to clean moving into my mother-in-law's house it kind of forced me into a situation the messier I let the house get the more I didn't feel good on the inside the more I felt depressed and anxious and disappointed in myself and how the day went. I get to work from home, I get to raise my kids, and yeah, that's hard sometimes. I have a lot of free time throughout the day, so there's no excuse as to why I can't keep the house clean. And since we've lived here, I've done a pretty good job. Basically, since we moved out of our old house, we've been doing our dishes by hand. While super annoying, it definitely taught me a lot of lessons. I've done more dishes in the last year of my life than I've done in all other 29 years combined. No joke. I seriously hated doing the dishes so much, and I did whatever it took to avoid doing them. Doing them by hand taught me discipline, and now that I have a dishwasher, it's even easier. Now I run my dishwasher once a day and make it a point to empty it the same day. I know. Completely groundbreaking. However, this is new to me. I've seen robot vacuums for a while. I never really put two and two together that it would possibly be good for me. But moving into our house with our solid surface floors and having the open concept gets a lot of crumbs on the floor. So at this point, I'm willing to try anything to help me not have to sweep as often. Especially all of us being home all day. I find myself sweeping after every meal. It just ends up being too much. So I found a great deal on Black Friday on this robot vacuum and I'm so excited to set it up to see if I'm gonna like it or not. Thank you. 
I don't know if this vacuum is gonna work, guys. I don't know. I may have gotten something too cheap. Got it on sale on Black Friday, thinking I'll just try this out to see if I like it. It was obviously significantly cheaper. They say you get what you pay for. There was like tons of five star reviews. When there's over like 3,000 reviews, the majority are four and five stars. I usually go off of those because there's obviously gonna be complainers with everything. I will say there's a first red flag and that's the app won't let me log in. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick up as much as I can so then when nap time comes, I can run it and I can really get a feel for it. I basically only really care if it runs through this room right here. Little disappointing that the app hasn't worked, but the vacuum itself is doing exactly what it should do. I'm actually surprised. I did not expect it to clean up so much. It gets basically all the crumbs off of my floor, even goes under the couch. Um, there's a few places where there's like really tight fits. I just kind of brush things out into the open and this vacuum picks it up. I'm super surprised. I'm currently working with the customer service department to see if they can fix the app. If they can't, I may return it, get one that I know will work. Um, with taking a more proactive approach and keeping my home clean, this robot vacuum is great. All I do have to do is pick up the toys and the vacuum does the rest. Before, I was trying to pick up and sweep. I was sweeping multiple times a day after all of our meals, a huge chore. Um, I'm not going to suggest to you a certain type of robot vacuum because I don't think I got the best one. I think I got the cheapest one. I would suggest doing your own research before making your decision. But if you're like me and you're trying to keep your floors clean of crumbs daily, especially with kids, then a robot vac could be a great option for you. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.